look what just came in. This is the Kokona, I believe is how you pronounce it. Brick, webbed brick herringbone pattern that I ordered from Mill Brick. I'm so excited. I can't wait to get started on this project. Look how gorgeous it is. This color is like amazing. I'm going to show you what it looks like on our front porch where we're going to be redoing it. Um, and I also, I also bought some, the adhesive. I'm going to share the whole process of how to do it. Um, okay, so up here, I laid a couple of the single bricks out so you could see what color they look like. Um, still not sure how we're going to do the pattern up here. I'm thinking for this step, we're going to just have one piece vertical and then another piece meeting it at the bottom. I, think, and, I mean, before we can get started on the project, we're going to remove all of these old tiles. And you can see a lot of them have already come up. And um, we're just going to have to clean up the surface underneath. But these tiles have been like this since we bought this house. It's like so embarrassing. <laughs> um, but this has been like this for like three years now. So we just came back from the store. We got everything that we need to finish the porch. Um, so I just wanted to share with you guys everything that we need. Um, we've got this trowel, which we're going to use to spread the adhesive on and then put down the bricks. And I went ahead and picked out a grout. The color I picked out is called Snow White. Um, and then this is what we're going to use. We're going to attach it to our drill to drill up, um, mix up the grout. And we've got a bucket. And then also some sponges just to make sure everything's clean. And then a piping bag for the grout. Because we're going to pipe the grout into um, the spaces in between instead of um, smearing it on. Or like rolling um, it on because we don't want any of the grout to get in the brick. So that's why we got this. any questions that you guys had about our front porch. I know a lot of you wanted to see a little bit more of the grout and how we did the grout and um, so I wanted to share that with you really quickly. Um, but if you have any other questions, um, let me know um, in the sticker box. Okay, so um, this is no filter. So I'm trying to get like the best color as possible so you guys can see the color up close. Um, as far as the grout, we piped it in and then I literally, I just had gloves on and I took my finger and I took the excess off and just discarded it. Um, so that's what I did. There is a tool that you can get that just, you let it dry for a little bit and then you scrape it out. Um, but I just used my finger, um, and it turned out nice. 
Now, um, Old Mill Brick does recommend if you don't want any, see how some of this looks like a kind of whitewashed, if you don't want that to happen, they recommend you seal your bricks before you put the grout in and then seal it again afterwards. Okay, so somebody asked this question in my post here. Um, our front door color is painted bare carbon. So it's a dark black color. Um, and someone else asked where our door is from. It is original to the house. Um, our house was built in the 1980s. So I imagine it's original, um, the original door.